Hello, I'm Marianne Seacart and I'm Chair of the Judges this year for the 2022 Women's Prize for Fiction. And we've spent many hours today narrowing down 175 submissions to 16 on the long list. And I'd like to introduce you to those books and I and my fellow judges are going to give you a little synopsis of each of the wonderful books we've chosen. Careless by Kirsty Capes is a debut novel written by Kirsty, who grew up in the care system, about a teenager growing up in the care system who finds herself pregnant. It's very funny and very moving. The Exhibitionist by Charlotte Mendelssohn is a fantastically gripping portrait of family dynamics, which manages to be both heartbreaking and humorous. The Bread the Devil Need by Lisa Allen Agostini. This book sounds like it could be quite depressing and haunting, but is actually really funny and witty, incredibly well written, a very smart, different take on a subject matter that's very close to a lot of women's lives. This One Sky Day by Leonie Ross. It's a wonderful story set on a mythical Caribbean island where no one is exactly who you think they are. Flamingo by Rachel Elliott is the most wonderful, life-affirming, readable book about two families who quite by chance end up living next to each other. The Great Circle by Maggie Shipstead is an absolutely wonderful read. It's the story of Marianne and her adventure around the globe. And I'm not sure I've read anything so filled with the wonderful evocation of Wanderlust. The Paper Palace by Miranda Cowley Heller is set in the woods of Cape Cod during the summer holidays and it's about family and childhood um, and trauma. The Book of Form and Emptiness by Ruth Ezeki. It's a brilliant read about a young boy called Benny and a very special book. Creatures of Passage by Morrowa Yajide. Just found this a really magical, unexpected plot. It was a really addictive book to read and I kept wanting to go back and enter that world again and again. Remote Sympathy by Catherine Chidgey is a harrowing and quite bleak account of Buchenwald, the concentration camp in the Holocaust, but it's so cleverly told through different voices. Sorrow and Bliss by Meg Mason is about Martha who has a long-term mental illness and it's about the toll it's taken on her marriage and her family and her life and that sounds very grave, but it's also brilliantly, spikily, hilariously written. The Island of Missing Trees by Elif Shafak. It's an unusual read about a young girl and her connection to ancient Cyprus via a fig tree. Build Your House Around My Body by Violet Coppersmith is a brilliant and moving story of two Vietnamese women who go missing decades apart. Salt Lick by Lulu Allison is an extraordinary, poetic, elegiac book about a not so far in the future dystopia. The Sentence by Louise Erdrich. This was a really unusual read. It's a ghost story, but it's also about heritage, but it's also really smart and funny and witty. The Final Revival of Opal and Nev by Dawny Walton is brilliantly original in its construction, but also has some great characters and a really good example of black girl power. Check out the Women's Prize long list, which is truly international. There are stories written by authors from all over the world.